Hi there, the Geeky Minecrafter here, and today I want to bring you a new video that is uh, a culmination of a couple of different things. Basically, I've been trying to build an automated cow farm. Uh, it hasn't gone well. <laughs> I have, I have spent hours trying to build it. I have a dismal failure every time I hit the button and the lava goes off. It burns up my cow, the meat, and the leather, so I get nothing out of it despite you know hours of trying. So I did find a new automated cow farm tutorial uh, by Tango Tech that I've watched a couple of times. I think I get what he's trying to say, and I'm going to attempt it. Now, one of the things I did was I went through and watched the video a couple of different times, and I've captured screenshots of each of the significant parts, okay, so that you know, theoretically, I can look at this and say, okay, well, you know, I've built the walls, now it's time to put the signs in, and here's where they go. So I'm going to, I'm going to attempt this on camera. I'm going to move this over here on my second screen, and I'm going to attempt it on camera. I am going to leave a link down in the uh, description below of where to find this tutorial. This was the tutorial that I followed to do this. So I, I make no claim to uh, this automated cow farm. However, um, it, it really, from all appearances, is exactly what I'm looking for. It's, it's offering me the opportunity to you know, gather a bunch of leather, which I'm going to need for my library, uh, and a bunch of meat, you know, an unlimited source of meat for, uh, you know, staying alive and, and having the energy to do the mining. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. So if you're ready, come on, let's get started. Okay, so uh, while you were gone, <laughs> basically, uh, here's something that happened. I was wandering around in my house. I was decorating. I was making some changes. And I got right about here, and I thought I heard something behind me, and I turned around and pretty soon I hear a sizzle and I'm turning back around and yep you guessed it there was a creeper he blew me up so all of this cobblestone in here uh, was a result of you know the creeper coming in and blowing up in my uh, kitchen so I've had to do a little bit of remodeling he took out this wall he took out my furnaces uh, I had a huge gaping hole right here in the stone I mean it was it was bad so uh, one thing I did do was walk around and really light this place up. Uh, I don't know how, but he spawned inside my house because, as you can tell, every time I come in, I basically put a you know a deadbolt, the equivalent of a Minecraft deadbolt, in front of my door. Uh, it's it may be dirt, it may be cobblestone, but I put one of these in front of every door. So he didn't come in from the outside. He came in. I mean, he spawned inside here. Now, one other thing I've done uh, while you were gone, I'm sorry for wandering around here, uh, I did widen that door, and I did widen this room a little bit, as you can tell, uh, and I started a second level. In fact, uh, this is going to be my bedroom over here. I've tunneled all the way through over here to this wall, and I've begun adding glass. Now, it's, this is by no means, no means I'm, am I done. Okay, I've got quite a bit of remodeling to do. I did find uh, an area right up there where skeletons were spawning in. In fact, I found a couple of these in the surrounding little hillsides. So I've gone in and lit them all up. Uh, there was a cavern right over there that I've gone through and kind of sealed up until I'm ready to explore it. Now this one's small. This one kind of tunnels back through the mountain over there. I've lit it up, but I keep seeing a witch come out of there. And she's standing right over here watching me as I'm getting ready for bed at night. It's a little disconcerting. So I went in and lit all that up. Okay, so let me show you the failed cattle farm. Uh, this was, you know, my first attempt at uh, an automation on, in Minecraft, and it, it just didn't go well. I'm embarrassed to tell you that. I, I spent hours on it. I watched the tutorial multiple times. It should have gone better than it did. Uh, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I, I don't understand what I did wrong. So this was the area that I put it in. Uh, and I do have, oh look, I have a full-grown cow in here. And I have some bouncing cows. I, sh I left this water on and I didn't mean to. So I have a full-grown cow in here. Oh, and look, they just bred on their own and gave me a little one. Uh, but the furnace that I had in here I had to take out because, again, what was happening was I was, I was losing everything. It looks like I've had a couple of escapees. That's not surprising. So I've torn all the redstone out. I'm getting ready to dismantle this and uh, going to build a 
a new one. Now, one thing I did, you know, it, there's just a one block hole to put the cows in here. So I had created this long fence line from where I had the cows originally. And, you know, that took knocking down a bunch of trees and putting them all in here. Now I have subsequently begun pulling it, you know, pulling it out. It, it followed all the way up. And I was able to kind of entice the cows over with some uh, wheat. Now, something else I've done, as you can tell, is I've created a little chicken farm over here. Uh, again, I, I have plans to do an automated farm, but for right now, uh, you know, I need some I need some chicken. I need some eggs, and I, I want to get this started. So, let me throw. Let me see if we can get any more chicky babies. Don't run in front of the eggs. Good grief. Okay. So that's it. That's all the eggs. I've created a little area here for them to be safe. And it looks like, uh, you know, their brethren are being attracted by, I don't know if, if it's the noise or the seeds or whatever. I have separated these pens. I have two now of pigs. Uh, my, again, my goal is to have all my automated cows right over there. Uh, so that's my intention. My tree farm had extended all the way out to here. I've begun taking it down because... Uh, well, I need an automated farm, and I want it a little closer to the house. Uh, originally, I was going to do it out here, and, I, and then I have subsequently changed my mind. So uh, that's that's where we're going there. So let me let me head back over here, and I'm going to start dismantling um, this automated farm. I, I do have some cows in here. I'll go ahead and I don't know. I'll try to maybe let them go and see if I can't capture them again later. Uh, put them in my uh, my my new farm. Now I know that some people say, and I've, I've heard this said a, a couple of times, you know, get it all built uh, and then go into creative mode and put a cow spawn in there and, you know, put a whole bunch in there. Well, I'm I'm trying to do this in survival mode. So I've walked my cows up here and, and fallen in this hole, I can't tell you how many times, trying to get a stupid cow to get in there. Uh, and, and when I finally got two in there and started breeding them and they're dropping down and I'm killing them with the lava, it just, it was not pretty. At the end of the day, I was very frustrated, and I walked away for a couple of days. I just had to get a little distance from it. So I'm going to go ahead and knock all this down and get get all my uh, materials gathered up for the new build. Uh, let me see if I can pull that in front of you. Hold on. Let's do full size. So, again, I'm going to build a base. I'm going to um, follow his design. And, again, this is... Um, this is Tango Tech. Uh, although he goes very fast, I was able to capture these screenshots, and I think I'll be able to follow the prescription or the you know the method based on the screenshots that I've captured. So I'm going to get started on this. There's a couple of things I don't have that I'm going to need. One of them is sticky pistons. I don't have any slime, so one of the things I'm going to need to do is go find a slime chunk and uh, see if I can't find some some slimes to let me build some sticky pistons so okay that's it for me um, this is just a quick introduction I wanna I, I, what I'll do is I'll check back in uh, a, after I've torn this down oh I should not have just walked away from the game that was probably dangerous uh, so I'll check back in as soon as I've torn this down and uh, gathered up the materials I need for the next part of the build so stay tuned I'll be right back Today we're going to start the automated farm, uh, and I know that this is kind of the middle of episode six, uh, but I've uh, several things have happened since I began this. Uh, let me let me take you through that. 
when we left off, I was demolishing this, and while I was working on this project, um, a wither skeleton jumped out of my portal, as I mentioned in uh, episode 7, which actually uh, I recorded <laughs> before finishing episode 6, so I apologize. I built this structure to protect me from the withers, and if you'll remember from that episode, or, or maybe you haven't seen it yet, uh, one of the problems that I had was I had put pe pressure plates inside, so anything that came through could escape me. I have since changed that so that it's buttons, um, so that will uh, now keep them from being able to get out. So this was the proposed site, and I have changed my mind. Uh, I've done a little bit of um, beautification out here. I have installed uh, a path out to my sheep uh, area, and I've decided that this is going to be the area for the automated cow farm. Now, it will be four bays, uh, which will hold in the neighborhood of about 20 cows per bay. So that's uh, about 80 cows making babies. So figure, you know, about, uh, I don't know, 10 to 15, 20 cows per uh, cycle. So I'm hoping this will be a very efficient farm. What I did was I spent a lot of time wandering around out here marking and counting, and I, I saved you from, from that. And I've placed, I've etched my background. Uh, now I'm just going to dig down. I believe it's uh, about five or six blocks. Uh, install a few ladders so that I can work down there and I'm going to get started on that. What I'll do, rather than let you watch the whole construction, is I will check back in periodically, show you the progress that I've made, and um, maybe include some stills. So this is the home, the new home of the proposed automatic cow farm. Wish me luck. <laughs> the last one didn't go so well. So, okay, I'll check back in with you soon. One little quick update here. Um, it occurred to me when I was down in the hole that I'm not going to be able to see the googlies coming if they're coming for me. So I did take a few minutes. Um, I crafted some fence. I knocked down some of the others. And I did put a fence around the area that I'm working. Uh, this is because, again, I'm going to be down in this hole. It's going to be you know, quite deep. And from down here, I can't see them coming. I won't know until they drop in on me. So the first thing I did was just a little bit of protection. The other thing is I'm, I'm building some ladders so I can get in and out uh, of my my area here that I'm working with. I have chosen to go down rather than up because I'm going to have to lead some cows in here and I just soon do that at ground level. So that's it. Uh, that was just a little quick update. I'm going to go continue um, mining this stone out and getting ready for my new automated cow farm. I'll check back in with you. Okay, <laughs> I'm back again, and I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit frustrated. It's the Geeky Minecrafter, and if you'll remember from where we left off, we I was attempting to uh, create an automated cow farm. I have spent hours on it, hours and hours, days and days. I've gotten so frustrated. I've stopped and I've done some decorating. I've, you know, added a porch up here, and then, you know, I'd clear my head and go back to it. So let me show you <laughs> where I got to, and I, I think it's you know it's just going to have to be good enough. It's it's not done. It doesn't work completely like I want it to, but it is, you know, it does work some. So, oh, I think I left the wheat inside. Okay, so this is it, and there are four cells. 
Now I've had to go down underneath here a number of times because I've had problems with the wiring. So I installed a, a trapdoor so I could nerd pole down. Um, I do have a couple of maintenance areas that I'm going to, you know, when I box this in, I want to be able to get to the redstone. So let me let me explain the problem. Oh, it looks like I have some cows in here. Let's let's take care of those real fast. Uh, let's get my sword out. Okay, so let me let me explain the problem. I, I'm not entirely sure. If I if I were, I'd fix it. Uh, but it boils down to three of the cells work and one doesn't. I just cannot get it to work no matter what I do. Uh, I've tried rewiring it a number of times. I also cannot get the lava to fire. I'll show you what I mean. If I turn this on, the lava is supposed to fire, but what happens is it shoots the bucket out and it will eventually land in here once it goes, you know, through the water and, and back around. So the lava part doesn't work, and that's okay. I, I can live with this. I'll just walk up and, and kill them manually. Um, and when I turn the water on, you see that three of the cells jump. These poor cows never do, no matter what I do. They just refuse to jump. So what I'm going to do, let's see, do I have any, I don't have any wheat with me. Let me turn this off and go get some wheat. I'll be right back. Okay, I have some wheat now, placed it in my hot bar. Let's turn this on. I'll show you in principle how it works, okay? So you turn it on, the cows bounce, they do a little dance. You just hold down the um, right shift and you make them all pretty happy. And as you can see, they're having babies, they're shooting out, they're, want, they're being pulled down across the, uh, f across the floor and they're going to be taken up this elevator. Let me see if I can get over there before they're all gone. Okay, see they're being brought in and then they're just, you know, because they float, they jump up to the top and they wind up in that little chamber, uh, which is where they're supposed to be. Now, again, I've had to be in here so many times. I, I just, um, I've got maintenance panels everywhere. Let's see if I can get back out of here. Okay, so let's turn the water off. And now at this point, all I'd have to do is wait for the baby cows to grow up and then walk in there and hit them with my sword. Now, I think what I'm going to do to the cows in this chamber, I think I'm just going to make this whole area here a storage area. I'm going to put some hoppers and additional chests here so that I have, you know, all kinds of storage. But I, I've i spent, oh my god, I can't even tell you how many hours on this thing, and um, I, I know that the guy said it worked, I'm, I'm curious if it's, you know, if it works with my version of Minecraft, or if there's a problem with that. I have done the wiring, I've checked the video uh, three dozen times, so I know the wiring is correct, um, I just, I'm just not entirely sure why that that other cell won't jump and why the lava keeps shooting out of my <laughs> of my dispenser instead of flowing out like it's supposed to so I I don't know it's it's not my finest effort I'm gonna call it good though I'm gonna leave the episode here and I'm, I'm just gonna say it's good enough it's not perfect but it is good enough for now so the last thing I'm gonna do is go in and kind of box over everything, hide all the redstone, uh, protect all this. I do have a temporary um, shelter that I have placed down here uh, that I'll probably, you know, go through and move all of that. Uh, while I was constructing it, I was pretty much staying down here. I had a bed and I uh, got my chest, my unlimited water supply, so I was working from down here. But as I did the final bit of redstone, I wound up having to take out this wall and my door. So I'm going to go clean all this up, box it all in, and we're going to call it good. So this is <laughs> the Geeky Minecrafter. Um, frustrated, but what can I say? They don't all turn out the way you want them to. So till next time, you guys, happy mining.